My name is Peter Johns. I'm a technical tutor at Middlesex University and I teach people how to make silverware and jewellery. My name's Jocelyn Burton and I'm a silversmith and goldsmith and I make a very wide variety of things but I tend to specialise in large items like silver centrepieces and vases and that sort of thing. Middlesex University have been extremely supportive of my research and that meant I could develop alloys very quickly because I could make an alloy, work the alloy and just by listening to it, heating it, I know whether I've made a difference. Silversmithing was a tremendously traditional thing and perhaps it was a little bit in the doldrums. So it was tremendous when Argentium suddenly came along. It'll do everything that sterling can do and a bit more. And my clients are delighted that it's so white and bright. And of course it won't tarnish. The research started with a call from a French company called Metal Europe, who were miners and refiners of zinc and lead and they had some special metals that they wanted to find a new use for. And the metal was called germanium. They picked Middlesex University because of the diversity of our design work and using a new material in, in jewellery. I was working with a student who asked me a question about a particular problem with sterling silver called fire stain. Fire stain's been in sterling silver for thousands of years and it's a problem in the industry. And I just wondered whether germanium might cure the problem of fire stain. I suggested this idea to Metal Europe and they funded a research project in the university. At the end of one year, we could see it was working. And in the end, the university took the project over and continued to develop it. We needed to do two things. First of all, we needed to get a business plan together to develop the product into the market commercially. Secondly, we needed to find a manufacturer who could produce to the specification that Peter Johns had defined. We initially went to Tiffany in the USA, who were very responsive to an alloy that didn't tarnish. As a consequence of our links with Tiffany, we were put in touch with a manufacturer in the USA, who were the first company to produce Argentium and suddenly the message went round the world that Middlesex University had this new alloy. I think that this sort of research is tremendously important to bring in new blood and have new generations um, following through on research to make these discoveries and to innovate. Knowing the history of sterling silver and to be able to put something in that you feel, yes, with a bit of luck, that is going to be around for a long time is the most rewarding feeling. Mm -hmm.